In a news release, Disability Rights Montana said many patients at the Montana State Hospital meet the legal requirements to vote but are being disenfranchised. And that's why they joined a lawsuit seeking to determine the rules for those patients. The Montana Constitution says that people aren't eligible to vote if they're, quote, serving a sentence for a felony in a penal institution or of unsound mind as determined by a court. A patient at the state hospital, committed there after being convicted of a felony, filed a lawsuit after he tried to register to vote and the county election administrator rejected his application. The plaintiffs argued the state hospital is not a penal institution and patients shouldn't be considered of unsound mind unless a judge specifically determines that. In their release, Disability Rights Montana alluded to a long history of concerns about patient safety and staffing at the hospital and said voting is a way the patients can have have a say on the state policies that affect their daily lives. A judge in Anaconda issued a temporary restraining order, allowing the patient to register. However, on Tuesday, Attorney General Austin Knudsen's office announced he had issued a binding legal opinion, stating that people convicted of felonies and sentenced to the state hospital are not eligible to vote. Knudsen argued those patients get credit for time served and can be moved to other correctional facilities without a change in their legal status, so their commitment is equivalent to a prison sentence. An attorney general's opinion is treated as law unless overturned by a court. Knudsen's office has filed a motion seeking to remove the temporary restraining order. The state's interpretation is that people convicted of felonies can vote when they're on parole, probation, or suspended sentence. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.